Okay. This video, I'm going to go over some grab defense. Uh, my point in this, though, is going to be that it's not going to be anything that um, only certain people can do. It's going to be defense that anyone can do because um, it's not going to be complicated. The more complicated things are, the higher chance it has to fail. And um, through the years, I've seen a lot of fancy, complicated uh, grab defense type techniques. And I'm not saying all of them suck, but you have higher risk of failure. And there are many people who can't do it because of strength and size. That's the honest truth. So if I have world's strongest man and he has two hands on my arm, I'm not going to be able to just grab it and rip it out or do some fancy. That's sorry. That's the truth. That's the truth. So I want to go through some defensive things that it doesn't matter your strength or your size, a child can do it. So, all right, first um, is going to be the idea that you don't even want to let them grab you, right? This is something I heard about um, years ago that I've learned about, and I don't ever see anyone really talking about it or teaching it anymore, um, but it should be automatic the first thing that you think of or try to do so say if someone's going to grab my wrist i just want to move it right i don't want to be there someone's going to grab my shirt i just don't want to be there I just want to move just don't don't let them grab you okay it's very very simple and just think of that for any kind of grab if it's you know, if he grabs from the same side, I don't want to let him. If he grabs from the opposite side, I'm not going to let him. If he tries to grab my shirt, I'm not going to let him. You know, just move. Just don't let them grab you. You know, that should be automatic. Right? And it's easy for that to be automatic because that is one of our natural responses. But um, to improve that even more, just turn into a drill. I'm very big on drills because it gets into your subconscious more and makes it a, a real reaction. So what you can do is just that, you know, have a preset, like have the person go for this and just do it just randomly. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't just grab, 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 where it's, you're just a robot there. Don't do that because then your partner already knows the time, you know, break the timing up, almost like you're sparring, right? So maybe I'm gonna grab, and then I'm way, and then I grab, right, just like that. That was perfect. So that's the idea. Train it that way with your partner, and train it for any kind of grab. And by the way, also, when it comes to like wrist grabs, don't just think of actually the wrist. Think of like the wrist, the forearm, the upper arm, right? So grab anywhere on the arm. Work on like those type grabs. Something I don't see people training very much that actually happens a lot. So work on grabbing different parts of the arm, both arms, two on one, grabbing the chest, grabbing the neck, any kind of grab, okay? And um, then after that, we're going to go to another phase here, something else you can do that's simple that anyone can do. And is if they do grab you, the first thing you want to do is just hit them. Okay, <laughs> pretty simple. If I punch them, if I palm them, if I slap them in the ear, if you eye jab them, you know, you're going to get some kind of reaction. Hopefully, you know, your reaction is they're going to let go, right? That's the hope. Or that they're going to loosen the grip and then you can get away easy from there, right? So, you know, as soon as someone grabs, boom, I want to be hitting them as soon as they grab. And it's the same thing, you know, if they grab, like, cross or something, boom, just hit. Just as, as soon as they grab, just hit them, right? And um, same thing, even if it's, like, two hands up here, someone might say, like grab up here, 
someone might say it might be harder for some people because of height to hit the face and you can hit the body but don't forget you can also kick or knee <laughs> you have other options there right so just practice as soon as they grab wherever the grab is is to hit okay from that hit hopefully they let go if they don't let go they loosen their grip if they loosen their grip you can get away right and the same thing drill that the same way just have your partner grab different first start off just same place over and over get that repetition in so it sinks into your head and then just grab wherever and have your partner just just punching right don't hit each other of course don't hurt each other um, yeah so um, always be responsible when you're training and don't hurt your partners don't randomly just hurt whoever you know only use these things to defend yourself that's it uh, next would be okay they grab I hit the person doesn't phase them maybe they're on something maybe they're just have a high pain tolerance whatever so they grab I hit them they still have a good grip on me now we go to clearing it off remember in the blocking video that I made I was talking about using palm the palm block here whether it's high or low all right so maybe um, maybe they do the double grab even right so maybe I hit the person they still have a hold of me boom I can quit there I can clear it off here just jam it off right either side doesn't matter both sides as far as that goes if you go up or down or something maybe so just keep that going so now you they grab you you hit them and then I want to clear it off right because my hit was ineffective so I'm just going to clear it from there um, same thing with that try to drill that you know grab you hit they still have a hold of you clear it off with just a good strong palm strike and think about things like opposite direction opposite power so maybe if I'm clearing my wrist then I want to pull my arm in while my palm is going out just opposite powers just always opposite powers right so um, oh and that's another thing you can just use the block right um, something like say if someone's going to do a grab here I'm just going to block it right I'm just going to block and maybe they grab over here I'm just going to block block it and go it could even be a wrist grab still I'm just going to block it and move right so same thing work on just literally just blocking uh, the just you can use palm blocks for all of it you can use some of the other blocks also but the palm blocks are very effective for clearing grabs or stopping grabs so um, and they're fast so you know that's another thing to work on no matter what type of grab you have here and uh, and just stop it before it even get it before they actually even get a hold of you just stop it out there so you know I don't like I said I don't see people really training these ideas that much or training that much anymore everyone wants to you know be the life of the party and do something cool and fancy but um, and that's that's cool and, you know always 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 working on the basics you have to have the basics if you have 20 hours a week to train spend 15 hours on your basics and have your foundation the other five you can work on more advanced cooler looking fancy stuff which we will get it to on other videos but you have to have a good strong foundation that you can rely on and like I said these are things that anyone can do and I, I the closest thing I see to anyone really continuously doing this and putting it into practice uh, all the time is something like uh, wrestlers I see wrestling uh, people do that you know if someone goes to do a shot what what do you what's one of the counters you know is to just pancake out on it which is keeping the person from is moving you know just like I said at the beginning I'm moving same thing uh, if someone gets a tries to go for a single and they're grabbing one of the counters is just to clear it off with the hand so 
they're the closest group of people that I see nowadays that are like continuously working on these things, whether they're conscious of it really, of those ideas or not. But um, so, yeah, just uh, work on those ideas. Doesn't matter who you are. You don't have to be strong or big or if you are strong and big, it still works. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So those, these, these techniques will work for anybody. And uh, very easy, very simple. Anyone can do it. Just train it, drill it, uh, work on the drill and uh, so that it sinks into your head, right? And something that I want to mention too is when you're training martial arts, always keep in mind the laws of your state and or city and stuff like that. Try to work with it as much as you can. But if you're defending yourself, defending your life for sure, then you got to do what you got to do, right? So, but just keep that in mind also. Um, yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I have on YouTube, I have my buy me a coffee linked in the description. And uh, the, like I say, most importantly, if you just like and subscribe, I appreciate it. And have a good one.